The Native Americans and the and the pilgrims had a fun dinner. Now Didn't you... they have a turkey too? No. Definitely not. Well, guys, hawk tua. Those two words are something that I've been trying to avoid talking about for the last few months, but recent events have made it basically impossible for me to continue to do that. Yeah, she made a podcast. Now, uh, if none of the words I just said make any sense to you, then I don't even really know where to begin. If you're unfamiliar with the hawk tua girl, as she's commonly referred to, welcome to the internet. Glad to be the first video you've ever watched on the World Wide Web. But basically, the hawk tua girl aka Haley Welch, is a young woman who recently got famous for a street interview she gave where she talked about a method of sucking a man's penis in which she spits on it, or hawk tulips on that thing. Now, if you're like me, you might be wondering why did that make somebody into a millionaire famous person? And honestly, I don't have an answer for you. My running theory is that it's because kids these days are really into stupid little phrases that they are somehow able to take and change its meaning entirely. Think about the gats and the goofy Oz, stuff like that that I feel like Hawk Tua kind of fits into that. Kids like saying stupid shit these days, but that's nothing new. I feel like Hawk Tua just really managed to resonate with the youth. You couple that with a lot of executive corporate types not really understanding virality, and then you've got the Hawk Tua girl invited to be like the keynote speaker for shit, with six-figure payments being direct deposited to her bank account to, uh, I don't know, talk about spitting on dicks, I guess? I don't, I don't really know what she does. All I know is that she's been showing up a lot of places that really make no sense for her to show up at. Whatever it is she's doing, though, it's working for her because she's basically become a household name over these last few months. And just like anybody who gets famous in a very short amount of time, she's made a podcast. And, uh, well, how do I put this nicely? You can tell that she's only been famous for a couple of months and that she got famous for the reasons that she did. It's been said a million times before, not everybody needs a podcast. Somebody who has literally nothing to talk about other than the fact that they made a funny comment during a street interview is one of those people. People. But that's not gonna stop us from watching it because it's, uh, it is really, really bad and you need to see that, okay? So let's not waste any more time. Let's begin. Please subscribe. Come on, Haley. It's not that bad. All right, it's time to get out of the bed and quit rotting. Haley, get up. All right, I'm ready to talk. So I wanted to start my podcast out here in Belfast, Tennessee, where I was born at and where I've been ever since until a few weeks ago and everything changed. No, really, I even learned that you can't bring a box cutter on a plane. <laughs> Okay, so um, this is how the podcast starts. Not doing any fancy editing here to make this look worse than it is. This is the intro. And I think it's really funny that she decided to include the fact that she didn't know you can't take a box cutter onto an airplane, out of all things. Like, she could have said anything here, right? But she chose to go with that, and this podcast episode was uploaded on September 10th. Now, after this, the first few minutes of the podcast is basically what you'd expect. Introducing the guest, introducing the host, stuff like that. Now, as I'm sure you've assumed, we're going to be jumping around a lot. We're not going to be watching the entire thing, unfortunately. It is almost an hour long. But we are going to watch part of the first thing they talked about, which they've chaptered rewriting history. You'll see why. I hated history in school, and I was just... Well, what's the, the point time. of memorizing any history? Because we've now learned that none of it was true. Yeah, that seems like a bit of an oversimplification, but sure. I learned that the Native Americans and the, and the pilgrims had a fun dinner. That, that's that's what I got. From. I learned that they put on their best shoes with buckles and their best hat, and they all sat down and shared maize. They had corn, and they had a cornucopia, and it went great. And now didn't they have a turkey too? <sighs> Okay, <laughs> so for some reason this stood out to me. Me and Haley, or the Hawk Tua girl, I don't know what she likes to be referred to as. I'm gonna say Haley for the rest of the video. We're the same age. I'm three months older than Haley. We are both 22 years old, and this is just complete bullshit, right? Anybody else my age here to back me up? I can't speak on behalf of Whitney. She's 42. I don't know what went on in the 20 years between us, but maybe it has something to do with the fact that she says she hates history, so maybe she wasn't paying attention. But I definitely did not get the the whole, oh yeah, the Native Americans and the colonizers, yeah, they were really good buddies. And I'm from the South. Surely, there is not a chance in hell that there is a modern curriculum left in the United States that is still trying to pretend like we were super friendly to the Native Americans, right? Right? Christopher Columbus sailed the ocean blue in 1962. 1492. Okay, he didn't teach me very fucking much. I think the most history until now has kind of been gossip, right? Yeah. I mean, it's kind of just like, you know what I mean? Well, like, like I feel like said. if I won a battle, I'd be like, not only am I going to tell this story, but I'm also going to say like my opponent was like fat and stupid. Like, you know, I'm going to add yeah. insult to it too. 
Yeah, yeah, totally. Because he's not here to set the record straight. Right, there was no way. I, I mean, it's like people are like, what if ChatGPT like photoshops photos? It's like we had paintings before. Where the king was telling them what to paint. I mean, that was probably worse than Photoshop. Yeah, I'd be right. <laughs> like Mona Lisa. Okay, I need to ask you guys this sincerely. Do you think this is a bit? Like, is this a character or something? Is she sort of playing up the whole simple southerner thing or what? Like, I'm not trying to be mean, but listen to the words that these people are saying. Christopher Columbus sailed the ocean blue in 1962, and a king told somebody to paint the Mona Lisa for history. Like, what? So, um, you've had Jake Paul, you've had, uh, I don't know what order you're going to do these in, but you've had Jake Paul on? Yes. Is that it? Yes. So far. Jake's pretty wild. He, he's a little spooky to talk to. Oh, that, really? that, that's like a man, you know? Yeah. That is not like a little soft boy, you know, it's easy to talk to. That That's a whole man right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, yeah. you know, I'm a little ass girl over here talking to this grown <laughs> man. I was like, what the f- I'll talk to him about, you know? Haley, you are five years younger than Jake Paul. What's with the weird infantilization? He was exactly what I expected. Like, he lets on like he's an asshole, and that's what I like about him. He owns up to that shit. He knows it. Mm-hmm. That's what, I got respect for him for that. I like that. Like, I, like I can that. be an asshole, too. And he's comfortable with controversy. He, yeah. Like, he's okay he's with it. very comfortable with that. Yeah, we're like four minutes in, and we're already endorsing Jake Paul just because he's a fucking douchebag. This is my new favorite podcast, guys. I've never understood this logic, and I've heard it be used a surprising amount of times. Yeah, that guy's a fucking dick. Nobody wants to be around him. Nobody really likes him. But you know what? He knows that about himself, so he gets my thumbs up. Very strange thing to promote. Just imagine if Chelsea said hawk to and not you that night. I would, would Chelsea be sitting in that chair? I would not have dealt with it as good as you did. Can, I hear, can we hear you say it? She don't give a fuck. It's her <laughs> let's problem. Just, let's just hear she you say it. She does not give a single fuck. One more time? I can't do it as good as Do Henry. it. You do it. No, you do it. Hot to. <laughs> you go. gotta put like an emphasis on it, like to. You know, like really to. Like, yeah, say it. All right, all together. Hot to. Hot to. Hot to. Say it aggressive. Like, like Hot really. To. Like, <laughs> like you're saying. mad at the day. You're mad at Hot to. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so when I first heard about this podcast, this is honestly what I expected it to be. I thought it was going to be sort of like Hot Ones, at least spiritually, in a way, where anybody who comes onto the podcast has to go through this, like, Hawk Tua gauntlet. You got to prove you can Hawk Tua with the best of them. So I'm glad to see that they took my idea. Is this entertaining for people? Like, am I just miserable? You know, I ask that question a lot in my videos. Maybe I should go talk to somebody. But, like, seriously, is this funny to others? Am I the issue? Please let me know. Have you ever had to shit at a man's house? Yeah, I just shit. I don't even try to hide it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but we real said shit. we got it. We got it. We got the sound bite. <laughs> yeah. It's going to make her as famous as Haley. Well, you, holy I shit. I just shit. Too. Why I just shit. We have a sign called shitting with I Chelsea. I don't even <laughs> try to hide it. <laughs> I'm in. She's hot to spit on that thing. I'm hot to shit, shit on that thing. <laughs> shit on that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Please get her a hat that says shit, shit on, on that, that thing. thing. Yes. Okay, maybe not. Shit on that, that thing. <laughs> that respect. Oh, 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 my God. I never knew 30 seconds of a video could make me feel physically ill. By the way, we've skipped like 25 minutes of the podcast. I'm sorry, but they were just talking about getting drunk and then like vaginal wigs. I don't know what's a joke and what's not, but I had to show you guys the shit on that thing segment followed up by a dab. And look, I know I said that made me feel physically ill. But really, if we're being honest, I can't think of a more appropriate podcast for somebody to whip out a dab. It feels right. Oh, yeah. Haley's it's first sick. flight ever, Whitney, by the way. Her first flight she ever went on was like three weeks ago now, maybe a month ago. You and had a month. So you sh- had never flown before you went viral. No, and everything in my damn like carry on. She brought a knife. Actually, it was two knives and they got confiscated. You brought knives to the airport. <laughs> Yeah. You got a little girl going out here somewhere she's never been unarmed. You've lost your fucking mind. You brought weapons into TSA <laughs> in 2024. He's like, ma'am, what's this? And I was like, oh. Okay, why are we going back to this little girl stuff? Look, I have no problem with somebody being armed. You best believe I'm not leaving the house if I'm not strapped. But I feel like everybody knows that you don't take that kind of stuff to the airport, right? Like, I feel like that's a universal thing. Obviously, there are ways that you can legally take guns and knives into an airport. But that's not what I'm talking about here. I don't think I've ever met a person in my entire life, whether they've flown or not, who thinks you can just walk onto a plane with a knife. Now, we've been jumping around a lot, but I promise 
promise you, you haven't missed anything important. I kind of let this play in the background while I was doing something else, just to really get the full experience. And some of the shit I heard, I, I don't even know how it fits into the conversation. I'm like 99% sure I heard something about Haley Bieber's cum at one point. Not sure where that slots in here, but I think we've seen enough. Is this podcast bad? Yes. Should it exist? Absolutely not. But I mean, at the end of the day, can't you say that about most podcasts, really? As a guy whose only exposure to podcasts has been the ones I've talked about on this channel, which are famously bad, I feel like I'm pretty qualified to make that statement. Well, guys, what do you think? Is Talk Tua gonna go down in the history books as one of, if not the most important piece of media of our time? I'm thinking maybe. Unfortunately for Haley, I can't imagine this lasting too long. To be fair, I've said that for like the last two months, but tricking boomers into thinking you're an actual celebrity and maintaining an audience for a podcast, those are two very different things. I think these first few episodes will get a lot of views just because of the novelty, but once that wears off, I think the reality of the situation will start to present itself. Not hoping for that, not wishing for it, don't get me wrong, I hope Miss Hawk Tua has all the success in the world, I just don't see it happening. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it, it's free, it won't cost you anything, but for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Thank you.